Hello Malaysia, today is the 28th of uh, July 2013, it's a Sunday and it's a Gundam Hunt itself. So I'm at the Midlands uh, at the Pulau Tikus or on Jalan Burma in Penang and there's a, what do you call it, a, a bookstore called 2020 as you can see up there that sells Gundam magazines for 6 ringgit. So it's pretty cheap for the Gundam uh, hobby, sorry, hobby magazines. Um, but I wanted it to be at 3 ringgit, me being a cheapskate because if I were to buy it at 3 ringgit, definitely I would get like 10 or 15 books. But uh, never mind, um, I can't like uh, get so many. And you can see here there's an excellent looking old snake from Metal Gear Solid 4. This is from a, from a sh uh, computer shop and they have the very old uh, consoles, the Neo Geo CD, Real, whatever, Panasonic and what not and a very very cool uh, helmet of Killzone 3 and uh, that's not the one that I wanted to, to review the one that I wanted to review is called Toon Lunatic they only open around after 2 p.m. so they have very impressive looking boxes here uh, and you love the G1s and whatever of the uh, Transformers and you can see here Lambo Alert and Tiger Track basically it's the same uh, design uh, but only different color scheme and uh, we have uh, biohazard as well the Jill Valentine if I'm not mistaken then we have Zoids as well and the Transformers here and there and uh, the rest I'm not so sure and then there's the G1 Transformers and the other Transformers so this uh, shop uh, there's not many uh, toys of Gundams but uh, they have a lot of transformers, a lot. So we have the what the hell is this? This is not from Hasbro. Uh, what is called Quick Wave? It's actually Sound Wave. Uh, you will get to see inside. Yep, the design is almost like Sound Wave. Okay, it's exactly like Sound Wave, and it's by Fans Toys 2 uh, 2012. So I'm not sure about that. And uh, we can see Brawl here. It's a Decept Decepticon by Takara toys and uh, it looks pretty awesome it looks it has a met metallic finishing it doesn't look that plasticky at all so and there's a very awesome artwork uh, for 1100 ringgit yes 1100 you get this uh, I think it's a new version of new version of uh, what's, uh, what's his name already shit it's from the Comic Con International 2012 because you see the logo here uh, is a very awesome art artwork of the new Combaticons. Yep, it's a. Uh, I don't know what's the name of the combined robots at all. The Combaticons. So let's go into the shop. Thank God they let me go into the shop. So. And we have the DC Universe thingies. And the Final Fantasy 7. actually not enough lighting here so bear with it and you like uh, let's say Iron Man they have Iron Man here and mostly it's all Transformers and we have the Black Rock Shooter and the what, Date Master I'm not sure about this because I'm not a fan of the anime which is I think is actually crap and the rest is like Transformers as well the Beast Wars uh, let's see hmm, how come they put in plastic bags huh? because they don't have uh, boxes anymore hmm. this is uh, Rodimus is it yep uh, seems to be uh, old design so because uh, you can tell whether it's an old design or not by looking at it. Once you look at the bottom, you know that it's pretty simple transformation to become the robot or humanoid robot. And another one is the is because that the hologram, the hologram is a reminiscent. I mean, is a remnant from the old toys. The the new ones from Hasbro, they don't have the hologram that changes color with temperature. So that's another indication of a G1 transformer. In, I think that's my assessment of it 
and you have the Batman Arkham City figures from the excellent game and we have the Japanese version Transformers here which is a, has a better finishing compared to the China made ones I don't know whether it's made in China or not okay and this one and Silas Breakdown is this okay hmm and uh, quite a heavy figure of a woman with I think I'm not sure whether I can see the nipples or not or the, or the slit but uh, here's hoping uh, and the ass is not that nice actually and that's okay and we have a, a really nice looking predator here so how long have you been open? do you mind being on video? Last August. Last August, or still new lah. Previously, you were doing what? Online. Oh, online only. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, the business was too good then. No. No. So you have. Uh, uh, I want to ask you a question. Why is this called sh uh, what wave? Is sound wave? Uh, shock, shock wave. wave. Huh? Shock Quick. Wave. Third party. Third party. Uh. Yeah. So can you give me a demonstration of uh, this transformation? <laughs> very, very hard. This one. I think. So I just spoiled it. Yeah, I saw the box there. So I was. Uh, why is the name not the same as Shockwave? So it's third party. party. So they cannot use the original name. Oh, it's something like pirated, lah. Is not it? Really pirated. They created the toys for the Comic Con, Not really. It? No. Okay. Just a third party creation. But it looks awesome. Yeah. It's very quite, big. Quite heavy. Quite heavy. Oh my God! It's it's actually heavy. I think it's my a lot of screws in it very very solid and you look at the feet and you see it's glowing i think it's metal is it metal yeah. so how much is this actually about 370 370 ringgit huh? well if you want a shock wave so this would be the one to get i think it transforms into a, a gun or right yeah. so if you like g1s and the uh, i mean screw bandai or hasbro this is very awesome cool do, do you don't want to give it a try? <laughs> no? This one, uh, ah. I don't have a brand on now. <laughs> so... Guess sir, guess sir. Don't want to guess. No. Oh. Okie dokie. Oh, this one, uh, this transformer, wow. I mean, uh, Optimus Prime looks very, very nice. Yeah. This one from Hasbro. The Prime is from Hasbro. The Jetpack is a third party. Oh, okay. Party. How much cheaper is the third party? This set is about 190. Sorry? The jetpack. 190 ringgit. Yeah. Uh, you didn't do anything to it? No. No. Oh, it looks, looks good. Looks good. Eh? It's very awesome. Not bad. Eh? So if you were to sell this unit, how much would you charge? Not for sale. Only oh. sell the jetpack. Oh, the jetpack. Eh? How much is the, the Optimus Prime? Previously it's about 200, now I'm not very sure. The price hard gone up already? Huh? Very hard to find. Very hard to find? Yeah. So the price should be more expensive huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wow. Looks cool. Uh, so you, now you have the the rundown on why that uh, Shockwave it does not uh, does have a different name from Shockwave. It's a third party one and it is very very heavy and i guess it will last for a long time so definitely if it's i mean if the all these uh, third party ones definitely is a good thing for the industry and it's a good thing for transformers as well so you want a big shock wave a bigger one like twice the size from the i don't know i don't think asbro has anything that size so we go and come to this place uh, which i forgot already tune something what's the name of this place already Sir, Sorry. what's the name of your shop? Toy Lunatic. Two, toy, Toon. Toy Lunatic. Toy Lunatic in uh, Midlands. Uh, what floor is this? Third floor. Third floor. So this is a newly opened shop. So support it. Uh, they have very awesome Transformer toys here. So see you. Bye bye.